Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to DE being unable to make any content in Warframe without the community turning it into some kind of depraved meme. I've seen what you've done with our lovely mouth wall, and you should all feel bloody ashamed of yourself. Ashamed, I tell you, ashamed. So I wasn't actually planning on making this video, but I had some spare time and thought, hey, why not at least get a preliminary explanation about what this wall mouth is, why it suddenly appeared in our ship, and why the noises it makes makes me feel moderately uncomfy. Also, why do I get the sudden urge to say, Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. <clears throat> uh, anyway. Now, the observant ones amongst you, uh, or the ones who are not blind, may have noticed that the uh, Hemlinth has already kind of moved in, and, well, it's already in your ship. When Dimos does drop, you are going to be able to enter your room without needing a Nidus zit on your neck anymore. And that's because we have our new roomie that's just moved in. The Hemlinth. Helminth. Hemlinth. He Helveta. He Helm. However you say it, this is an up-and-coming content patch that we will soon be coming with the heart of Dimos and lends itself to expanding the mid to late stage of Warframe progression with the ability to donate powers of one frame to another. And in this video in particular, we're going to, as simply as possible, break it down, explain what it is, what it do, whether it'll be worth using, and why on earth I'm mildly aroused by now having lips inside my ship. But uh, before we go get going, from the words of Helminth himself, which translates as the following, make sure to follow my Twitter and Twitch for daily updates and daily streams. <laughs> Bet you thought I wasn't going to squeeze that in there, didn't you? Let's make this as simple as possible, shall we? In short, the Helminth will be obtainable as part of the Heart of Dinos rep from the Entrati Syndicate, which you would likely be, which will likely be the main syndicate you're earning rep for, similar to that of the Solaris United on Fortuna. Once purchased, the, once the segment is purchased, this segment gets installed in your ship like any other ship segment that you did when you first started playing the game, and then you will have the Helminth fully unlocked and able to be used. Or will you? Because it seems D is doing something rather interesting, and they're intending this to be a bit of content that's a bit different to the norm. This content will not be usable until your mass rank 15, and really serves as nothing more than a way to satiate your power fantasy, to allow customization in the way you want to play. Now, DE have, ha have given us the freedom to play how we want, and I can't be more happy with that, and I can't be more happy to see that this kind of change as the purpose of Warframe is a casual one, and having the ability to complete your goals in the way you want really helps that notion of personal fantasy and playstyle. I think it's important to realize that this update is not mandatory. You don't need to use the Helmlinth. You don't need the Helmlinth to be optimal. Oh, absolutely, there are going to be some disgusting combos you can get out of this. But see this as an extension, something to dabble with once you have some functional understanding of frame mechanics, and as a aim to go towards. You wouldn't want this early in the game anyway, as it's all it's going to do at the early stage is overcomplicate things. You want some things to aim towards, and you want some things that are not going to be so overtly difficult to understand in the early stage that it makes the already complicated game even more complicated to understand. This is also why I feel Master Rank 15 is a good baseline Master Rank to unlock it at, and if I may inject some of my own personal opinions here, if anything, I'd have put it at Master Rank 20 to really give something for players who've gotten further into the game to sink their teeth into. I guess at the end of the day, it needs to be appealing and also obtainable by as many people as possible, so it's that equation of suitability as well as also achievability but it is what it is it's a nice way it's a nice mechanic and i think a lot of people are going to see a lot of use out of this and the position it's in is it designed in a way so that it's not to overcomplicate the beginning but as a way to make a goal for new players to aim towards now let's talk about the system itself otherwise we'll be here all day now i'm gonna have some footage running in the background helping to illustrate how this all works although there are some small bits of minutiae that i'm going to be missing but what i will do however is go over all the main assets you'll need to know how the system works in its current state for when it does eventually drop. But again, just realize that this system is likely to change and this is just as a way to debut this system in the early stage so we can prepare ourselves for it when it does eventually drop. First of all, Helmlinth is a hungry, hungry boy. Have you ever played Hungry Hippos? Yeah, imagine that. And to satiate that hunger, you need to suck you dry of Coover. 
Uh, thankfully, that's actually a joke. Could you imagine if you actually could feed it Kuva? Never have enough of that stuff as it is. In all seriousness, the big mouth needs food. You feed the Helminth with your excess materials and resources. Though in essence, you're going to treat the Helminth a little bit like a syndicate, and the overlay we have for it kind of reflects that. We've been told ranking the Helminth up will unlock Helminth-specific abilities you can donate to a frame at your leisure, on top of the sacrificed abilities as well. And the higher you go with the system, the funner the system gets. Much like a toddler being told to eat their veggies, the Helminth is also a fussy eater. So feeding it too much of one thing will make him rather bored of it, and also then thusly get less satisfaction from being fed that same item over and over. And although it will still get some benefit from being fed that same item, it is better off giving it a varied diet. Using the panel on the right of your overlay, you can get a good idea of what it's craving, and then you can base your feeding routine off of that. Now, the main panel will show you all of your earned abilities and subsumed abilities. It's worth noting that once an ability has been donated for the technical term subsumed, it is permanently in the Helvetta's arsenal and can be donated to another frame at any time, assuming you have the resources and meet the requirements to do so. But you may be asking, Makari, how does feeding old Hamilton over here and donating abilities work? Well, this is where things get a little bit little shop of horrors on us. You essentially select a non-prime frame, and that's important to note, a non-prime frame, and you let your ship's wall consume it by selecting the subsume option. And then after a period of time, it will be completely consumed and thus no longer available for you to get back. If you decide that you don't want it to be subsumed, you can cancel it any given time during the subsuming process. And the chosen ability, which is given to us by DE and will be given a list of later, will be... Uh, at permanently added to the repertoire of Helmet's donatable abilities. This is actually pretty damn awesome and for more reasons than just the donated ability, because from a systemic point of view, it means that the early game missions are actually going to be worth doing again. And it might mean we might start seeing more of a widespread population in the early stage missions of our star chart. Because people are actually going to have to go back and farm the original frames to get to be able to use this. So the TLDR of all of this, to get access, you need to have done Dimos. You need to the component. And you need to be master rank 15. Then feed the Helvetica to build rep and unlock innate Helminth donatable abilities. Sacrifice frames to donate frame abilities to the pool of abilities you can add to other frames. And vary the food you feed the Helmonth to optimize rep earning. Also to note is that you can retract these decisions at the touch of a button. And you can also swap between loadouts to have your default set of abilities again. So it's not like if you subsume an ability and equip it to a new frame, you're stuck with it forever. DE have done a good job to emphasize the idea of customization here. Also, also to note it's one ability per configuration. So no big wappy combo wombos. So this new system isn't necessarily complicated it may seem so from an outside perspective but by the time you get to this stage of the game you likely have some understanding of warframe's systemic nature and how abilities work so that sort of level of complexity kind of gets alleviated by the time you get there however take it slow get in there initially and have a look at it the, get, the actual overlay itself does a decent job of explaining how this system works. And at that point, it's just a case of deciding what you want to swap and deciding your own personal power fantasy. And I actually really like this system because it's really going to open the world uh, a lot for uh, personal preference and personal play style. So very quickly, as a final little thing on this video, I think it's only prudent that we tell you what abilities are subsumable and what's going to be transferred. It is important to note that the abilities that are transferable are the ones that are not the signature of the frame. So you're not getting ultimates, you're not getting fours. It's only the abilities that are not signature to the frame itself. If you want this post in particular, this is the dev workshop post that explains the entire process and everything they've done so far. There'll be linked to this in the description of the video. So let's carry on, shall we? Starting with Ash. Ash is donating C Shuriken with the org seeking shuriken it's important to note that you can use the augment on the frame you donate these abilities to so if you donate ash's shuriken you can also then use ash's seeking shuriken augment on the frame you put that ability on atlas then donates petrify with or gaze this is the one that turns enemies to stone i don't see much use in this myself but you know what having the ability of turning enemies to stone is always a nice one then we have banshee's silence along with Savage Silence for the Augment. Uh, again, probably one of the lesser used ones. Uh, Baruch is donating Lull with Endless Lullaby and very a very powerful crowd control. And I could highly see that being used for a lot of uh, 
range focused frames especially or for those that are looking to do ex ex execution based ribbons then we have chroma with elemental ward and everlasting ward augment imagine that on an aros with all that extra health yes Ember's then donating Fire Blast with Healing Flame. Equinox is donating Rest and Rage with Calm and Frenzy. It has been adjusted slightly so that it, the type that you get is going to be based on the energy. Because obviously, initially, Equinox is based on what mode she is in. Then we have Excalibur donating Radial Blind with Radiant Finish. Frost is donating Ice Wave with Ice Wave Impede. Gara is donating Spectre Rage with Spectrosiphon. These words are hard and I'm... Struggling, to say the least. <laughs> uh, Garuda is then donating Blood Altar. Gauss is donating Thermal Sunder. Grendel is donating Nourish. Harrow is donating Condemn with Tribunal. Hildren is donating Pillage with Blazing Pillage. And that is changing as well. So it's 50 energy instead of 50 shields. Obviously, that wouldn't make sense if it was using uh, shields instead. Uh, then Hydroid is donating Tempest. and te uh, Hydroid is then donating Tempest Barrage along with Corroding Barrage. Inaris is then donating Desiccation along with Desiccation's Curse. Ivara is donating Quiver with Empowered Quiver. Korra with Ensnare. Limbo with Banish and Rift Haven. Although this has then been changed so that you have much more easy control of it, seeing as Limbo relies on a lot of synergy and this is something you'll notice as well is that some frames are some of these frame abilities that are being donated are quite synergistic with the other frame abilities it comes with so they're kind of adjusting them slightly so that they are at least usable kind of as, as an example with limbo here or octavia for example uh loki then has decoy along with Savy Decoy. Mag has Pull and Greedy Pull. Mesa is donating Shooting Gallery with Muzzle Flash. Mirage is donating Eclipse with Total Eclipse. Necros is donating Terrify with Creeping Terrify. Neja, Firewalker with Pyroclastic Flow. Nidus is donating Lava. That's a good one. That's a very powerful one that's going to be very, very interesting in certain combinations. Uh, with Lava Burst, Nova is donating Null Star. All of the ones they could have donated. Along with Neutron Star. Nyx is donating Mind Control with Mind Freak. Oberon is donating Smite with Smite Infusion. So for any of you Eidolon Hunters, you can now have infinite radiation damage for any of the time you want. Uh, we're then having Octavia with Resonator and Conductor. Again, another ability that's kind of synergistic with other abilities, but it's going to be kind of interesting for those frames. Kind of like Lull, where it's not necessarily powerful by itself, but on a range frame, maybe you'll see some use out of it. Prote is then donating Dispensary. Imagine that on a Mirage with Explosive Legend Main. Yeah. Pretty powerful. Uh, also, you can now give anyone a dispenser. So if you need resources and stuff. Hmm, interesting. Revenant is donating Reeve with Blinding Reeve. Rhino donating Raw, which is a weird one, considering I thought that's a bit more signature than some of the other abilities, but I guess they don't want every frame having immunity to damage. Uh, he's also then donating Piercing Raw. Saren is donating Malt. Thank God, seeing as every other ability seems overpowered as all hell. Uh, with regen Regenerative Malt. Titania is donating Spellbind with Spellbind Harvest. And Trinity is donating Well of Life with Pool of Life. And they have changed this and buffed it so that it's now more potent. You'll notice that with some of these frames, they have actually buffed the innate ability itself to make it actually worth using in this system in the first place. Valkyr is donating Warcry, which in my eyes is one of the most overpowered abilities they could transfer from this entire system in the first place, because in some instances, Warcry becomes stronger than Hysteria. I'm kind of wondering why they didn't do this with Ripline or Terrify, because that would have made more sense, seeing as Warcry is a bit more signature i guess I, I don't, either way there's gonna be some, some very disgusting exalted weapon frames out there now uh then we have vorban with tesla nervos and tesla bank vault with shock and shock trooper which you've seen already uh wisp with breach surge wukong with defy uh zaku with zarta's whisper so he's already been transferred and zephyr with airburst and that has also been changed to be more worthwhile using and can now suck enemies in as well and that's the video. Hopefully this has been informative. I'm not going to lie. This probably is going to be irrelevant in about a week or two when they decide to rework the entire thing. But hey ho, that's Digital Extremes for you. At the very least, hopefully this will help you prepare because honestly, this system, as DE Steve kind of put it, is going to be the most systemically changing thing we've had in quite some time. And if nothing else, will help serve the idea of customization and power fantasy. And that to me is the most pivotal thing. So if you've enjoyed it, please let me know down below in the comments what abilities you're going to subsume and which combos you're gonna go for and hopefully we'll see you in the next video also if you feel like joining us recording these videos you can join us on twitch check out my twitters for daily updates there are links to all that kind of stuff down below join us at your leisure we'd love to have you joining us and i'll see you all next time guys Ta -ra!